Hello folks, it's Kikoskia here and welcome one and all to Let's Play Return of the Obra Dinn, released in 2018 for the PC and 2019 for the Nintendo Switch, PS4 and Xbox One. Developed by Lucas Pope and published by 3909 LLC, this is an adventure and puzzle game that tasks you with piecing together the voyage of the namesake of the game, the Obra Dinn, a doomed ship whose crew is completely gone. But what happened? Where did they all go? Was it pirates? Was it a storm? It is up to us to find out. I don't know what this is doing here. Uh, maybe something weird with me uh, doing some test recordings. Either way, let us begin and see just what's going on on this vessel. I think we should jump in with no knowledge of the events to come. Unless I know the better, eh, when it comes to a mystery. Let us play. Lost at Sea, 1803, the good ship Obra Dinn. Built 1796 London, 800 tons, 80 foot draft. Captain R. Whitterell, crew 51 men. Last voyage to Orient, Cape Rendezvous unmet. Contact East India City, London office for inquiries or testimony. The Honourable East India Company. Attention, Chief Inspector, Insurance and Claims, London Office. The Oberdin has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately and prepare a full assessment. Oh, I will. I will be the most thorough of investigators. You have my word. <coughs> Company man woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the Oberdin. Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. <laughs> What's in the box? I don't know. I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. Or with a rope. Now, one thing I have to say about this game is I really like the graphical style. It makes it look like a super old video game, when in truth it's anything but. It's very fancy. And this ship is a ship that could still be serviceable if it were manned with a crew and brought to port, but I get the feeling that's not going to happen. The sails aren't very good. And there's that mysterious box. All right, sir. I'm going to climb up. We're going to see what's happening on board. Hello! Inspector here. I've come to check everything. Hmm. It's very, very quiet. We can walk around with WASD. And examine things. Doesn't seem like there's anything bad here. No. Oh! Oh! Um... There's a corpse! And an axe! I suppose I shouldn't axe you how long you've been here? <laughs> oh, this is serious, this person is dead. Right, let's just look around a bit more. I don't see... Hmm! That's strange. Probably just some sort of marker to indicate where the vessel is. It, it's probably nothing. So, we've already found... Oi! It's too heavy! Ah, guess I'm going to have to go and have a look at this box. Well, let's go. Clearly something bad happened here, and it's up to us to solve it. A lot of crew unaccounted for. It's too heavy. Take it yourself or open it here. I think I will open it. Book. Hmm. Interesting. Let's have a look at it. Return of the Oberdin, a catalogue of adventure and tragedy. Preface. I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Oberdin. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of his book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Oberdin is critical. 
a Libra discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first, all will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. A clue. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Henry Evans. Okay, so we know the identity of one person, and we know where they are. That's the journey, the ship. Ooh, and we have a crew manifest. Interesting. And this. And all the faces are blurred out. We don't know any of these people. At all. Hmm. Concerning. I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. Skim through the entire book first. Alright, game, I will. We'll skim. Right, what do we have? Loose cargo. A bit of cold. Murder. That's ominous. The calling. Mm. Unholy captives. Soldiers of the Sea? Uh, this isn't sounding good at all. The Doom? Oh, that's really bad. Huh. Oh, it's getting worse. And the bargain? This chapter will remain unknown until you leave ship and return the book to me. Henry Evans. Okay, let's uh, go to Escape. And book looks almost done. The end. Well, the end is typically the end of things. And here we have a glossary. And that. And open, close, book with tab. And then there is this. Memento mortem. Remember death. Well, we have a pocket watch now. Thank you. I'll be back later. I have important investigative work to do. We'll start with this body over here. Seems pretty important. We can press right button to zoom. Hmm. Oh! Strange powers. Captain! Open the door! Kick it in. Ah! Lest we break it down and take more than those shells! You bastards may take exactly what I give you! Oh! Oh, that guy is very, very dead. You are not dead. Then there is you. Likely the captain. Oh dear. I, I think this is the final moment of the ship. Don't appear to be many crew members left. Anything going on up here? No. Nothing here either. Oh, there's this guy with a knife. Probably going around the back. Yeah, they are very intent on killing the captain. That is not good. Captain got the first blow. And we zoom out of this event. Alright, so how's the book going to catalogue this? Let's find out. The puzzle begins, folks. And I'm eager to solve it. This is indeed the end. And it's here, not far away from the Canary Islands in Africa. Location of the corpse, three others were present. Who is this? How did they die? I don't know who they are, but I think I know who this man is. He is very likely... Oh. This person's face is no longer blurred, which means they can now be identified. Make sense? Use the book and the pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity. 
revisit memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. Use the book maps, crew manifest, and artist sketches along with the individual conversation logs to find clues about names, relationships, appearances, and roles. There were 60 people on the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. You're telling me. Decisive information is rare. You will have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. Good luck. Well, I'm gonna need it, but I know who you are. You're the captain. I don't know, however, how you died. Don't know who you are either, and there's also you. And a door has opened somewhere. Because we can now see into there, so we'll leave here. And go in there and have a look at all the other remains. Oh boy, there are quite a few remains here. How did you die? Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Well, you're dead. Nick sliced by the captain. That guy's still dead. Ooh. And then there's you. This door is locked still. Don't know who you are yet. Barricaded yourself in, I see. Hoping to use that to, uh... Block gunfire. I like the music. Yeah, that's a dangerous jump, but uh, I think you managed it. So that person is very dead. There's gonna be a lot of dead people, I fear. A lot of dead people. So. Who are they? How did they die? I don't know who they are. But a door has opened. We should probably just leave here. And see what else we can access. So. Probably something down below deck. Let's have a look at you. You probably got killed by the captain, I think. <laughs> Okay, so... He's dying. E to zoom or right click. And, oh dear, straight to the face. Yeah, you're dead. But you have also been stabbed. You're probably not gonna survive. Oh, oh. Oh, who are you? Hmm. And the captain's quarters? You're probably... Ooh. Are you the wife of the captain? You might be. And that would make sense. There's nobody else that I can see around. Hmm. Well, let's wait for the uh, swirliness. To... There we go, there it is. Excellent. Alright, we know the identity of another person that's dead. Or rather, we know how they died. We don't know who they are yet. We don't know who any of these people are. But I think I'm starting to figure out how they perished. I'm, I'm starting to get a few ideas. I'm starting to get the reasoning as to what happened. Uh, or rather, how I can report it. So. Let's go check... Oh! The captain? Abigail... Your brother... My friend... I shot him... Dead... I'll be with you... 
soon, my love. Please forgive me. For everything. Oh, well... He's dead. Yeah, you're very dead. You're also very dead. You're dead, and you are, in fact, still dead. That's... probably... Abigail's brother. Okay... The only question is... If he killed Abigail's brother, and he also killed this person, and he also killed this person, and he blames himself for Abigail's death as well. There's a definite trend here. There's a definite trend. I I'm seeing a trend. Alright, so... No one else was present? I'm pretty sure I know how you died. You died by... Suicide by gun. This may or may not be correct. I'm pretty sure it's correct. Fates are validated in sets of three. Correctly identify at least three people and their fates to have the information typeset into the book. Hmm, okay. I think I know who... If we go back to the beginning and we go to the crew, there's... This man. We know who this guy is now. I'm pretty sure he is, if we go find Abigail here, Ab Abigail Hoskett. There is a William Hoskett. I, I think that's you. Also, pretty sure you are Abigail Hoskett Whitrop. Yeah, there you go. Pretty uh, straightforward. Not much we can do here, though. We got to go, I think, and have a look at the fate of Abigail. Is that all the? Well, that's all the people that died here. Huh. Okay. Quite a few casualties. Let's now go check this out. How did you die? It's probably not good. Yeah. Straight to the head. A ha! That is um a little concerning. There, there's a lot of death happening here. There's also you. Yeah, being flung about and all of you. You. Oh dear. Oh, and. and oh, oh. Yeah, that man is, uh, very dead. Well, this voyage. had a couple of problems. Just a few. Just a few. And by a few. I mean, oh, wow, that's, uh, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff to take in. Oh, I'm gonna have to think very hard about this. Though, technically, when it comes to a voyage, the captain is responsible for every single person on board. The corpse was indeed moved post-mortem, but... Captain is responsible for everyone. Oh, and, and there's someone else that died! Ooh. 
where. Oh yeah, there is um you over here. Yeah, you, you're you're a little dead. And uh, this is how we figure out the other fates by jumping backwards by seeing dead people in other memories or unlocking the location of other corpses. We can piece together the story. Now, I'm going to pay absolute attention. Absolute attention. You have my word, East India Trade Company, that I will do the best job that I could ever do. I mean, you trusted me with this. And let me tell you, I won't let you down. I mean, it's only a ship with a bunch of dead people on it. What could go wrong? You are not wrong, it is absolutely chucking it down. Why, I'm getting soaked through. I should probably sink, what with no crew and all. It's a good thing I've just finished the last of my investigations, and soon I'll be able to hand in my report and... Oh, no. I didn't write any of it down! Nothing! And... Oh, all the things I'd written before got smudged. I... I there's nothing here, and... Oh, the ship's about to sink, and it's all a blur of... Weird flashes of farcical things. I mean, there was a giant squid and, and crab-like people things and, and mermaids and magic. And, uh, clearly, uh, the sea air has got to me. I, that can't be what happened. But I don't have long to go. I don't have enough time to go look at everything. I've got to... Okay, think. Think. With the best investigator the East India Trade Company has. What? Do you remember? I remember the captain killing some people. Yes, there were bodies around the captain's quarters. The captain? They were trying to get the captain, weren't they? Clearly the captain, the captain went mad. That's it! I remember now, the captain went mad and they killed everyone. With an axe. Yes, yes, that's what they did. Alright, there you are. You're the captain. Now, I, the one thing I know is that you, after you realize what you did, you killed yourself. You got a spear, and you ran yourself through. That's what you did. But everyone else, I know what you did. I know what happened. You were killed by the captain. He snapped partway through the voyage, and he just... Went at everyone with an axe. He went after you, and uh, he went after you. I remember that one. That that was horrible. And he went after you. Just got you with an axe, and, and you as well. He went after you. It was it was terrible. He was just killing everyone, and no one could stop him. They they were so stunned they could hardly believe. What, except you. I, I I don't remember seeing your body or your body. You. I don't know what happened to you. I, I I don't know. But everyone else, I mean, you were all just killed by, yeah, by the captain. Like, the captain killed everyone. You as well. I don't know what caused it. Maybe, maybe he just had enough of everything, but the, I distinctly remember at the end, they were going after the captain, so... This was in retaliation. The last few survivors had decided that they were going to take out the captain. And they nearly succeeded. But they weren't... weren't close enough. They didn't manage it. They only just failed. I think they succeeded in wounding the captain. So, all of you killed by the captain. Killed by the captain. I mean, you were also killed by the captain. And, uh, you were killed by the captain. There we go. You as well. I mean, he put you in his quarters because he was extra guilty about killing you. I think you might have been the first one that he killed with the axe. Uh, you as well. Killed by the axe. You as well. And 
Yeah, we don't know what happened to you. Y you... We don't know. We have no idea what happened to you. But, the rest of you... Just all got axed. The whole voyage got axed. Cut short. Brutally short. It was so tragic. Yes, yes. This is exactly what happened. Okay, got all of you and you and... Okay, gotta get you as well. Gotta make sure I thoroughly tell the whole story. The truth and nothing but it. Because after all, the captain is responsible for the lives of everyone on board. And how irresponsible he was. He just killed everyone. Killed absolutely everyone. That's why the ship is a ghost ship. There's just... They were all killed. Yep, you, you were axed. And you were, so let's make sure everyone here axed, 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 all axed. All of you have been axed how you perished. You were axed, you were axed, all of you. We don't know about you. That's true, we don't know about you. Uh, you and you and all of you. And yep, 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 yep. All of you were also axed by the captain. There we go. And. You. And you. Oh no, we need to make sure that we put that they were axed by the captain. We know this. There you go. Axed by the captain, axed by the captain, and the captain, and you were also axed by the captain. See? Clearly axed by the captain did the whole gun thing to try and fool people, and everyone thought it was very strange, but they all played along. Little did they realize that they were all in for the chop. In time. Once it started, it just didn't stop. It's just tragic. Absolutely tragic. Right, we don't know about you, though. We never saw you. We never saw your body. We know that you ran yourself through with a spear. Uh, was that even your name? I, I don't even think that was your name, you know. I don't even think that was your name. I, I, I think... I don't think it was. But I do know that you were killed by the captain. And you were killed by the captain. I mean, you were definitely killed by the captain. You, you're 100% gone. Clearly one of the people that um, sent the book over to us was one of those two people that I don't know the fate of. Maybe maybe they managed to survive being axed by the captain and uh, swam away to the Canary Islands. It's only a couple of days rowing. Surely they could swim there. That seems perfectly reasonable. Absolutely reasonable. Right? Right. I mean, people have managed to swim the English Channel. What's the middle of the sea to the Canary Islands. It's nothing, right? Axed, 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 axed. All of you have been axed. All of you were axed. You were... Uh, uh, we don't know about you. Um, axed and... Yep, you, you too. No, 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 not alive. You are very dead. You were axed. And you were axed as well. Your hat could not protect you, unfortunately. You two were axed by the captain. And you were axed by the captain. <sighs> Just... Yeah, it all, it all makes sense. It all makes sense. It's all coming back to me now. It's all coming back to me. This is what I saw. Not magical, strange sea myths and peculiar goings-on involving some shells and treasure and greed and a couple of tragic accidents and just people having ill luck at times. No, no, it wasn't that. It was all the captain just killing everyone with an axe. Except those two people. And then got a spear, slew himself. That is, that is it. Okay, there we go. And... There we go! Right. Has everyone been identified as a victim of the captain? Oh yeah, there's one more person I forgot, and that is the person that drew this picture. 
Theirs was the most tragic fate of all. I don't know who they were, but I know what happened to them. They, like everyone else, were also killed by the captain. Right, that is everyone. Absolutely everyone. Not a moment too soon. I think the ship's gonna sink soon enough. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I'm ready. All done? We should go. Storm's nearly about, so we won't be coming back. If you're still business here, climb up and finish it. Else I'll make to port. Oh no no, I'm done. I think the East India Company will be most happy with my report. It is thorough and exact. Finally. Sit down so you don't fall out. Will do. Whew. That was a difficult investigation. Very difficult. But it's done. We know the truth now about the fate of the Obra Dinn. One week later. The Honourable East India Company, insurance assessment for the good ship Oberdin, victim of calamitous events at sea, prepared by the Company Office of Investigation. All right. Damaged by Squall Atlantic, sunk in storm Falmouth, payout claimed, yep, 20,000. All cargo lost, payout claimed 5,000. All cargo lost. Captain Robert Witchroll. Fate. Suicide by Spear. As I remember, criminal findings. Murder of crewmates. 57. Just horrendous. Estate forfeited the crown. And we know what happened to everyone else. They were all killed by Witchroll. All of them. Every single one. Just all killed by Witchroll. Just so senseless. The preliminary draft of the assessment has been approved by the Royal Trade Guarantor. Total claim 28,000. On behalf of the Honourable East India Company, I certify all statements as accurate and declare this matter closed in its entirety. That I do! It's exactly how it happened. The pocket watch remains in your possession. It's a nice pocket watch. The book is returned to its original owner, Henry Evans, in Morocco, as requested. Clearly it's the son of Henry Evans, who was also called Henry Evans. It makes sense. One year later. Ah. <sighs> Lovely day. Oh, not so lovely. Come in. Busy day at work being an investigator. Highly qualified one. I wonder who that was. Letter at this hour. It must be important. I'll be turning in now. Tea's all gone, so you might think about going to bed as well. What? No tea? Oh no, this is not so good a day after all. Let's see what this is about. Chief Inspector, I write to you with the unfortunate news that Dr. Evans has passed away. He succumbed to his illness shortly after receiving your package. Although his health was generally poor, receiving the Obra Dim book in such an incomplete state further disheartened him so thoroughly that he was unable to recover. He used his final moments to express the extreme regret he felt with entrusting such a remarkable task to you. We thought you should know. Re but what? But I was... But that's what happened! But that's what happened! The axe! Which roll? <sighs> Throw that on the fire. 
The end. What an ending it was. There isn't even any tea. And that's a full playthrough of The Return of the Obra Dinn. A game about a captain that snaps while at sea and kills everyone with an axe. And an unsatisfying ending at the end. But you know who does get a good ending? The East India Company. They get to claim on the insurance, get practically all their money back, and all's well for them. And of course I will get my accolades for solving this case. But hey, it's a, it's a pretty interesting game. Loads of quite troubling axe killings, but you get to see the slow degradation of a captain who spent so many years serving and serving and serving and getting very little reward for it and finally being pushed over the edge. Because that's exactly what this game's about. But nothing else. It's not about weird sea monsters and magic or anything like that. It's just a guy with an axe and a grudge. And all the unfortunate people that got in his way. And it's also about having no tea at the end. That is the true tragedy. The lack of tea. The lack of tea. All in all, I, I think it's a pretty brilliant game, and I wholeheartedly encourage you to also give it a look if you are a fan of puzzles. I mean, you may even find some strange alternate explanations for it, but we all know the truth, don't we, folks? Just a captain and his axe. Axing people a very, very fatal question. Anything else uh, could be considered non-canon, but an entertaining thought experiment in what could be if the world was more fantastical and mystery and magnificence were front and center stage. But yes, what's to come after this? I don't know. I was thinking of playing Space Quest 2 again. Uh, probably wrap that up in a couple of seconds after we start. I mean, it's the only game I know that you can complete in one command. I mean, it was a very unorthodox way of creating a game back in the day, but the only other alternative is to do entirely silly things like solve puzzles and discover the overarching plot and defeat a villain. I mean, why would you do that when you could just type in one command and win? That's how it's meant to be played, after all. Just like how we figured out how to play this game. I was brilliant at deducing everything. Absolutely brilliant. Definitely didn't forget everything that I saw and then had to wing the solution by the seat of my pants. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Thank you, Lucas Bo, for making a brilliant game. Absolutely fantastic. A great study into the psychology of someone who is worn down too much by constantly having responsibility put upon them without recompense or rest. It's a great game. And... If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and if you are subscribed, press that bell for those notifications. I'm Kukowski here, and that was Let's Play Return of the Oprah Din. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.